Well, what's up again guys, Brian here at 3TR and I got a somewhat special video to post for this special occasion as I'm sure some of you are already aware of. Today is May the 4th, which is kind of the unofficial holiday of May the 4th. And I thought that for a Star Wars themed video today, I felt like answering the Star Wars questionnaire that has really been going around many of the versus serious YouTubers and I know that they've most of them have already done it themselves and since I'm kind of putting the final touches on my own next versus serious matchup I felt the need to just kind of give my own personal answers to this little Star Wars questionnaire. So without further ado, let's get started as I share with you my personal answers for the unofficial Star Wars questionnaire. Am I a Jedi or a Sith? Personally if I was living in the Star Wars universe and knowing just how quickly and easily the state of the universe and galaxy can actually change, I feel that being a Sith would actually benefit me more. I just find that being a Sith allows me to change my approach goals and allows me to evolve to the current situations a lot easier than a Jedi. When you're a Jedi, you are limited to a very specific set of rules, and I think that just kind of blindsights the entire Jedi Order, which is how I believe Revenge of the Sith kind of caught the Jedi off guard. If the Jedi really knew how to adapt their approach and see plots as they were coming, I don't think Revenge of the Sith could have possibly have happened. And although the Sith aren't saints, I just think that the Sith's ideas of how things should operate is so much more flexible and open for change. And heck, change is always a good thing in my opinion. What is my favorite world? Personally, my favorite world in the Star Wars universe has to be Kamino. Now, rainy days are without a doubt my favorite type of days, and so living on a planet where it's constantly raining seems like a paradise to me. And the fact that it's kind of like an endless ocean and, you know, I'm sure I can get some beautiful sunsets every once in a while, just seems like a very nice and pleasant place to be. And I especially would love to live some, maybe in a, maybe an apartment sitting maybe in the communal facilities because that place seems to be very neat and clean. And, heck, I'm a very organized person, so I think that'd be the perfect place for me to live. What would be my lightsaber type, lightsaber color, and lightsaber combat style? In terms of the type of lightsaber that I would choose, I would pick an archaic saber staff, reminiscent of the model used by XR Kun. Now I know that this weapon would be extremely difficult to master, but if I was able to master it, it would give me so many options in combat. For starters, the smaller hit would allow me to be able to pass this weapon off as a regular lightsaber, which means that I could actually keep my second blade in reserve and use it as a surprise attack to catch my opponent off guard. And once both blades were ignited, I could then change the power settings and blade lengths to completely off balance and catch my opponent off guard. The blade colors that I would choose for my archaic saber staff is I would see if I could modify it so that I could emit a blue and red blade, kind of symbolizing as a perfect balance weapon between both sides of the force. And my lightsaber combat style would be I certainly would want to mostly be a practitioner in Nyman, however, I would back this up with elements from Makashi for precision, Ceriso for blaster defense, and a Taro so I could use my entire body as a weapon instead of simply relying on the blade. What is my favorite species? You know, I don't really have any favorite species, so I'll just I'll just keep it simple and just say human. Uh, I'm a human, and I think I could get along with other humans uh, a lot easier than any other species in the Star Wars universe. What is my favorite vehicle? Hmm, you know, I never really thought about it, but I guess if I had to pick just a standard typical answer, I guess I would pick an X-Wing because it looks like an X, I guess. I'm not very picky when it comes to vehicles. If I were a Jedi, which master would I want? If I had to pick a master, I would like a master who was not only a very skilled combatant with the lightsaber, but also had a very different viewpoint on how the force should be used. And out of all the Jedi that I have read about, there is only one that comes to mind that fits this department the way I want, and that is Master Kyle Katarn. Not only is he a Jedi battle master, but I absolutely love his philosophy of how the force should be used. 
Now, there are many Jedi that see certain powers as being related to the dark side of the Force, but the difference that makes Kyle Katar different is that it's how the Force is used that determines whether it's bad or not. Like the essence of Force Lightning. Force Lightning is usually a power that's typically related to the dark side, but it's how it's used that determines whether it's a bad or evil power. And that's definitely a philosophy of the Force that I can get behind. So, I would pick Kyle Katarn. If I were a Sith, which master would I want? The funny thing about the Sith is I can't really seem to find any one Sith Lord that could teach me everything that I would need to know in order to survive as a Sith. So, I would pick two masters. A combat Sith Master and a fourth Sith Master. My combat Sith Master would be Exar Kun. Now, I'm fully aware that he really wasn't a Sith Lord for all that long, but in the short amount of time that he was a Sith Lord, his achievements were truly astonishing. As a lightsaber fighter, he was considered to be one of the all-time best and had never been defeated in a serious lightsaber engagement. And his own mastery of the archaic saber staff would certainly help me master my skill with that certain weapon a lot faster than if I had tried to master the use of this weapon on my own. Now my Sith Force Master would have to be Darth Plagueis. Now I absolutely love Plagueis' philosophy on the dark side of the Force in its uses and its mysteries. And unlike someone like Palpatine, I could actually deal with Plagueis' existence for all of eternity if it meant that I could live forever and have an infinite supply of knowledge. I really am not the type of person who wants to take the leadership role, and so having a master who is of equal or even greater power is absolutely something that I could deal with, and certainly fits with the concept of the Rule of Two, where one master embodies the dark side of the Force and the other craves it. And heck, I have an infinite craving for the dark side of the Force. So, my Force Sith Master would be Darth Plagueis. What would my Sith name be? My Sith name would be Darth Kratos. Now, for those of you that are Greek mythology fans and not talking about Kratos from the God of War series, Kratos was actually one of the enforcers for Zeus, the all-powerful Olympian. And being an enforcer is certainly the type of Sith or Darth Lord that I would want to be. I don't think I have it really in me or the credentials to actually be a leader, so heck, if my Darth Master tells me to go take someone out or deal with a certain situation, then being an enforcer would certainly be the best type of job, and there's no other better enforcer in Greek mythology than Kratos and his brother Nike, so I would be Darth Kratos. What is my favorite Star Wars movie? Revenge of the Sith, hands down. This film not only had everything I ever wanted in a Star Wars movie, but it also has the balls to do something that most film franchises refuse to do. As a Star Wars film, it has some of the most badass lightsaber fights in the entire movie saga, it has some very entertaining and interesting characters, and it also has one of the most epic scores the franchise has ever produced. And in terms of my nods on the expanded universe, it simply works with it better than any of the other five films. I'm not saying that this movie is perfect, as I completely hate all of the scenes between Anakin and Padme, them having little to no chemistry, and some of the worst dialogue I've ever heard, but what this film does that other movies refuse to do is actually have the bad guys win. Luke having his hand cut off and Han Solo being turned into a statue for a couple days is nothing compared to the Great Jedi Purge and the ending to the fight between Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi. What is my least favorite Star Wars movie? A New Hope. I'm sorry guys, I gotta be honest. Now look, I completely agree with most people in saying that The Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones have significant problems between those two films. However, despite their massive set of problems, I can still find a lot of things in those films that I actually do like. That is not the case, however, for A New Hope, as I cannot find a single thing in this film that works for me. The lightsaber fight between Old Ben and Vader sucks. The stormtroopers are complete morons that couldn't hit the broad side of a barn, and I absolutely hate Princess Leia's look as it looks like she's just a girl that has cinnamon buns glued to her head. The infiltration of the Death Star is complete bullshit as I've actually seen a map of the Death Star and there is no way 
anyone is sneaking around that place without being spotted. Vader is so powered down compared to how he should be from the Expanded Universe, and even the Death Star run makes no sense as, apparently, placed turrets on the Death Star cannot shoot down X-Wings flying in a straight line, and why do the Rebels seem to have to start off by flying so far away from the exhaust vent instead of just flying directly to it? As I've seen this movie less times than any other Star Wars films, and every time I attempt to watch this film, I seem to find myself finding even more problems with the film, and it also doesn't help that my knowledge of the Star Wars Expanded Universe has actually started to make me hate the original films even more. And while Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi certainly get a pass for me, that is not the case for A New Hope. If I could write my own Star Wars novel, what would it be about? I would love to write a what if scenario novel on what if Qui Gon Jinn had actually won the Duel of Fates on Naboo and had gone on to train Anakin Skywalker. It's no secret that Obi Wan Kenobi really did do the best he could when it came to training Anakin to be a Jedi, however, I still do not believe that he was quite ready at the time. Qui Gon Jinn, being an proven Jedi Master who had just finished training Obi Wan Kenobi to be a Jedi, certainly would have done a much better job. Qui-Gon Jinn also knowing about Anakin's mother would have certainly have made that a factor to take care of and may have even attempted to have gotten her off of Tatooine preventing her fate. And Qui-Gon surviving may have also have prevented Count Duke from joining the dark side. And also knowing about the corruption in the Senate would not have allowed Palpatine to make the kind of connection with Anakin as he did over the course of the films. And although it's very possible that the Jedi Purge would have still happened, I do think that not having Dooku and Anakin as part of his plan would have certainly postponed it. There was just so many important factors that could have been changed had Qui-Gon Jinn survived the Duel of Fate, and that is certainly a topic that I would love to explore. Which film has my favorite soundtrack? My favorite Star Wars official soundtrack has to be Revenge of the Sith, hands down. It has to be some of John Williams' best work he has ever done over his career. Do I collect figures? No. I used to have a Star Wars figure, but I gave it to someone who would appreciate it more than I would. What are the best things about the Expanded Universe? Simply the amount of detail that actually goes into telling stories that you don't see on the big screen. And as time has gone on, I've actually found that the Expanded Universe has far more interesting stories than anything that we've actually seen in the main series of films. What are the worst things about the Expanded Universe? Well, there are two factors to its biggest problems. The first being the inconsistency in how so many writers are telling stories that pretty much cancel out each other's storylines, and therefore it makes it confusing to understand exactly what is the official storyline. The second being is I really hate how Disney has completely disbanded everything that was in the previous Expanded Universe and has turned it to Star Wars Legends, which means everything that I knew about some of these characters is completely gone, and this makes me very concerned about exactly what new directions they may take some of these characters going on into these future films. What does Star Wars mean to me? You know what? I really don't know what Star Wars means to me. Star Wars is much bigger than me, and it is just far beyond my understanding. I guess I can just use it as a way to entertain myself or maybe understand why certain things are played out the way they are or just a way to better understand myself in some ways. And there you go. Those are my answers to the unofficial YouTube Star Wars questionnaire questions. If you happen to like this video, feel free to like, comment down below, and please subscribe to check me in my future videos. And while we're at it, if you happen to have a YouTube channel of your own, why don't you try answering some of these questions yourself, or maybe we could just answer them in the comments down below. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.